Okay, today I'm going to talk about um, Butler's Film Cement and how to do a splice uh, using a cement splicer. Okay, different about, um, splicers available on the eBay um, come in different uh, brands that do different formats. They all do pretty much the same thing, really. Uh, they've got to, usually got to two plates where you put uh, the film to join together. There's usually uh, um, a scraper built in, so you'd be able to remove the um, the emulsion uh, from the side of the film. We'll show that in a minute. Uh, but the most important thing is, as long as they clamp down tight. If you have a splicer and it's uh, loose and it doesn't clamp down tight, so when you put the film in, apply the cement, uh, you have to quickly close the splicer and it has to have a real tight clamp onto the film. It's become loose, there's a little gap, then you won't get a good splice if a splice at all, it will just fall apart. So when you've got a splicer, make sure that the plates on your splicer clamp down really tight. Um, two examples here, but we're going to look at this splicer today, which is a Minette uh, Double 8 and Super 8 splicer. Uh, so this one does Standard 8 and Double 8 um, Super 8. Um, so we're going to show how to use that splicer with the cement. I'll show you how to do a splice by joining two pieces of film together. Uh, here we have a piece of film that has uh, snapped apart, or the, uh, the uh, old splice may have broken, come undone, because it's been uh, spliced about 30 years ago, and so it may have dried out and uh, broken apart. Or you might just be editing and want to join two pieces of film together. First of all, we need to determine which is the emulsion side and which is the glass side. Um, you can see there that's quite a dull, dull side, dull shine on that film. You can see we turn it over, that is really glossy and shiny. So that's easy to identify. Lift the plates up, pop the film over the pins, like so. Bring down the plate and trim the film. Okay, that's the first piece of uh, film trimmed. Bring in the second piece. Now you can wear gloves when handling film um, or try and hold the edge of the film. Try not to hold the film like so because you'll get fingerprints on it. So we either wear a pair of white gloves uh, or hold the edge of the film. Again, it's a motion side facing upwards. Pop that onto there. Bring the plate down. And just make sure we trim the edge of the film. Okay. Now we need to scrape the emulsion off. So we've got two scrapers on this splicer. So bring down the scraper, the scraper there and gently work away a little bit more. Okay, and then use a soft brush to brush away any, any particles that have come off from the scraping. Now we need to scrape the gloss side. Okay. Not too hard, you just want to take, go right down and make it too thin, otherwise it won't uh, be a good splice. Again, use a brush to remove any particles. Okay, then we're going to put our cement on. So inside the bottle there's a brush, so when you unscrew it. Okay, brush some across the edge of the film on the lower plate. Quickly bring the plate down. And now it's clamped down in position, so the two films are joined together. Uh, we've got to wait now about 45 seconds for the uh, bond to take effect. So have a sip of coffee and then just wait. Okay, so 45 seconds has passed, so we need to remove the film from the splicer. So lift the first plate up, then lift the second plate up, and then gently lift the film out of the splicer. It's already popped out there. Okay, and there we have a strong splice, um, which should last many projections. So that's uh, been using uh, Butler's Film Cement, which is available on eBay. Uh, it only work on uh, acetate film, won't work on single eight uh, cine film. It won't work with that at all. So make sure you've got acetate film, uh, even 16mm, 9.5 or standard eight, and it'll work fine with that. Okay, so in this video I'm going to do a test just to see how durable the cement splices are using the Butler's Film Cement. Okay, so I'm going to loop a piece of film through the projector. So I've put uh, a couple of splices in the film already with a white leader in between. One in between uh, 
a piece of film and then also a piece of white leader in between with splice, uh, a cement splice as well. So I'm just going to finish off the last splice so we can see this is done in real time. Put some cement on the film. Quickly bring the clamp down. Okay, we're going to wait 45 seconds now for the uh, for the uh, splice to take effect. And then we're going to run the film for the projector. We can see it on the little preview screen there. Uh, we can see the splice is passing through the projector, and just make sure that uh, we can see this is a uh, a good way to uh, splice two pieces of film together using this cement, and it's an effective way of. Uh, repairing old films um, so you can watch them again. Okay, so it's about 10 seconds, so we'll just wait another 30 seconds. Okay then, let's have a little look. 45 seconds uh, is nearly up. Okay, so we're then going to remove the film from the splicer. Okay, you can see our splice is there, nice and strong, hopefully. Okay, now we're going to run the film through the projector. I'll just move the splicer out of the way and the brush. Okay, we're going to start the projector now. Let that run in real time. Oops. Got a little bit of help there. This isn't the normal way of projecting the film by looping it. It's a good way of just testing how durable the splice is going through the projector several times, especially after we've just created one. See the splice is passed through the projector without a uh, without it uh, losing its loop. Okay, we can leave that running. Let's see how long uh, we can keep this going for. It seems to be working very well. So there we are. This is using the uh, upper cement uh, so this is this test to see how durable it is. You can see there's three splices passing through the uh, projector. About its fourth journey round, I think. Uh, so at least you can see how durable when it does work. Thank you for watching.